Welcome to another iCAM Foundation tutorial. In this video, you'll learn how to use the Quest Foundation interface. Open a manufacturing process. Go under Analysis and Output and click on the iCAM Foundation icon. In the drop-down menu, select the desired post to be modified. Click on Post Processor Developer to open Quest Foundation. You'll find six different sections in the navigation panel. The general description will contain the information related to the precision of your registers, the tape file extension, the number of G-code or M-code on a single line, and the information that will be contained in the listing file. This is the first section we have to go through when creating a new post. The machine description contains information on the machine capability, such as tool change, spindle speed, max feed rate, and linear axis travel. The control description contains the linear and circular interpolation, system coordinates, and different kind of tool and fixture compensation. Automated canned cycles is everything about drilling cycles. The optional post processor word section contains the settings for some of the most used words in the post. You can set the different type of coolant available to the machine. Configure the M code and options related to the optional stop, and more. The post processor customization will contain the different macros used in the post to customize the post processor. The startup shutdown procedures contained predefined macros that can be added and removed from the post. If an icon is green, it means that there are some macros active inside the procedure. You can add your own macros in these procedures as well. The user-defined syntax macros are special macros that will trigger when the post catches a combination of words and values in a specific order. If we take a look at the top bar, there are different menus available. The File menu is a standard application file menu where you can create new posts, open created posts, and save. One of the most important, also available in the main bar, is Generate. It's used to save and compile the post. You cannot run a post that has not been generated. Edit menu is a standard application edit menu. You can copy, paste, and more. The database menu let you manage your different database. You can put a password on the post, hide a post in work to prevent operators from using it, import or export posts, and more. The view menu lets you change some of the view settings. You can change the margins and windows. Graphical questions changes the view from the graphical interface to a text-based interface. The dialog menu gives you control over the formatting of the dialog box when you're creating one. Tools contains the config and preferences of the software. You also have the words manager, which will show you all the available major and minor words available to you. You can also create or remove major and minor words. Please note that you'll need to create and use a custom interface kit to keep those words. You also have the same features available on the main bar. Window will let you change the color and theme of the windows. In Help, you'll find the different links related to support. Under the menus, you have multiple icons that are shortcuts to the actions in the menus. The first five icons are related to post creation and modification. You can create your post using the New Post or New Post Wizard. We cover how to make a new post in another video. From here, you can open or save your post. You can also edit your post with the Modification Wizard. When in Macros, you can cut, copy, or paste text. You can also print your macros. Whenever you do a modification, you can undo or redo those changes. Here are the Tools menu related icons like the Folder, Calculator, and Test icons. The Normal Play button will start Gener Launch Panel and the Test object will start the Quick Test window. The question mark will open the About page, giving you the current version of Foundation, your customer number, and when your license will expire or renew. The remaining button is Generate. Generate is different than the Save button. The Save button will save the current state of the post, without compiling the macros to check if there are any errors. When using Save, the color of the post will be black, and you'll not be able to post using that version of the post. Gener will only use the last compiled version of the post. Generate saves and compile the post and allows you to use that revision number in Gener. Each time you click Generate, a new revision is created. Any previous revision is still available in the database tab. 